Ugh. Not again. Why? I just woke up at 5.32 p.m., came downstairs to take a dump in my poo room. I went upstairs to get my breakfast, my bacon, eggs, and oatmeal, sat down here with a grin on my face, ready to take on some NBA 2K20. And then this. This happened. I don't have any players. I never thought it would come to this, but I just had to file a police report. That's right. I had to call the pigs police to get some assistance to find out who's stealing my goddamn cards. This is stupid. I just want to play the game, but... He doesn't have any players. If only there was a way that I could get some NBA players for my team so I could play right now. And I'd prefer to get them from some A-list celebrities. Or maybe some B. C. I'll settle for D's. If only there was a way that I could talk to those celebrities. If only. If only. If. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Celebrities reversed. That's right, guys. Today, we're gonna be asking celebrities for our final time in NBA 2K20. I know. All good things need to come to an end. And since this will be our final celebrity draft, I decided to change it up a little bit. We're gonna be doing our first ever reverse celebrity draft. That's right. The way this works is gonna be simple. We're gonna find a celebrity that we've never spoken to to draft me three NBA players. And here's where the reverse comes in. I will not be able to use the best card of that player. In fact, I will have to use the worst one. That's why the rules are changing. So for an example, Michael Jordan. We will not be able to use the goat opal if it's picked. In fact, we have to use the sapphire card, yuck. That's yucky. But with that being said, it's time to start picking some celebrities. Of course, we have to use all new ones we've never spoken to. I'm sorry, Charlie Sheen. My bad. And, oh yeah. This, I completely forgot. This costs money, doesn't it? And just before we start today's video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Raycon. Oh, oh, hello, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was too busy vibing on the moon listening to popular music on my Raycons. If you guys don't already know, Raycon is a brand that was started by Ray J and celebrities like my boy J.R. Smith are all about them. Yes, you guys already know that I've been rocking my Raycons for quite some time now. That's because they're the best. I'd be stupid not to. Oh, these right here? These are the Everyday E25 model. It's their best one yet. This bad boy right here has six hours of playing time, even more bass, and an even more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Raycon earbuds also start at half the price compared to any other premium wireless earbud on the market. They also come in all sorts of different colors and designs that you can choose from. And one of my favorite parts is, you can actually charge the earbuds right in the case. You just tank them out and put them in. Bam, it's charging. So not only are the Raycon wireless earbuds already half the price compared to any leading competition, I've got a deal for you. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash Troy Dan and you can get 15% off. That's right, 15% off your order. So guys, make sure to get your Raycons today. I'm gonna go back to listening to music while vibing on the moon. And again, a big thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. All right, it is now time to start choosing some celebrities. And there's one that's sticking out in front of me. I don't know. Carol Baskin. You know me as Tiger King, Joe Exotic's intended murder victim. Dude, I, I no, I'm on team Joe, I, I can't. 
Now, if Joe Exotic was here, I would definitely choose him. I just want that on the record. No way. No way. No way. No way. Shut the door. Take in the hands. Let out the cows. Moo, moo, moo. Triple beast. Oh, my. I, I never thought I'd see this day. But I'm glad I did. Oh, 133 bucks? That's it? I thought it'd be like 5,000 knowing this man. I will take it. LeVar Ball, Triple Beast, 133. Jerry West, $444. Okay, Jerry, I'll think about it, okay? I will come back to Mr. West. Wait. Any relation to Kanye? I'm trying to save a little bit, okay? Last time we did this, it got very pricey. It got very. Our truth! Ron, the truth killings. Oh, my. probably doesn't appreciate the t-shirt I'm wearing, but um, hopefully you can see past it. 150, book it. There are so many different celebrities here. This is like a kid in a candy store. Chuck Norris? Oh, man. I mean, ah, 300 bucks is a little bit, a little bit more than I want to pay right now, but this is an opportunity that I can't ignore or resist. Chuck Norris, book at 300 bones. Ronnie Coleman, lightweight, ain't nothing but a peanut, yep. Ronnie Coleman is the greatest bodybuilder of all time. 250, no problem. I always gotta check out the wrestlers, don't I? Mick Foley, the hardcore legend. I watched this man get thrown 22 feet off a steel cage. I'm picking him. We got some new basketball players out here like Jimmy King. Uh, Perry Ellis? I, I know these guys. I definitely... Matumbo? Cookie, cookie, cookie! Dukembe Matumbo. The greatest shot blocker. The creator, the finger wag. This is a no-brainer. 100 bucks. You better believe I'm booking that, cuh. One final try. I have tried to get Taco Fall to draft me three NBA players... It feels like forever. I've asked him at least five or six times. Every time he has canceled. This is, this is, this is my Hail Mary. My last chance. Please answer me, Taco. We got seven celebrities so far, and we're already at a total of $1,208. I need a save, okay? I need, I'm building a house. Queer voices. Caitlyn Jenner, no! What? No, I'm never doing that. You need to come down in price. EDP 445. I've heard great things about this man from you guys. What's up, hoes? It's your boy. Eat that pussy. Oh, that's what I didn't know what it stood for. $44 is a great deal. Book it. We got Kermit from the Muppets. I not sure how much Kermit might know about basketball, but. I'm willing to find out. 30 bucks, you better believe it. I'm looking at some reality TV stars, and to be honest, I don't think I know any Big Aid. You know what? Big Aid, I think, is in my price range, $80. He is a, a, a genuine man. He has great features. I'm taking Big Aid, all right? Okay, we need three more celebrities, and we're at a total of $1,332. That's not too bad. It started off pretty awful but we're doing good jojo siwa no i oh uh, no <laughs> no dude i thought this was flight i legit thought this was flight kevin o'leary twelve hundred dollars chris Ainge almost a thousand oh, big poppy i take you but 750 is a lot <laughs> roman reigns you know that's a lot of money <sighs> i'll do it you know what I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. 500. Yikes. Lindsay Lohan. Man, I, I gotta do it. Okay. I, part of me says you're spending way too much. Uh, book it. It's too late. I've already committed it. Okay. We only need one more celebrity. And we're already a total of $2,162. I don't know how this keeps happening. But I do see someone here from the Los Angeles Lakers. No, it's not Smush. Danny Green, baby. He can make it rain. And he only wants 125 bucks. 
I say only because I've seen some crazy wacky prices today, Caitlyn Jenner. Well, there we go. We have 13 celebrities for a grand total of $2,287, which I feel like I saved today. So the next thing we must do is wait. We must wait for our celebrities to respond. I guess I'll see you in a week. Bye, guys. Timmy, put that down, you little shit! One week later. It's been one week since we asked our celebrities to draft me some players, and every single celebrity got back to me. Except one. Yep, you guessed it. No surprise. Taco Fall was the only person not to give me a response. Even Lindsay Lohan did! But... Even though Taco did not respond, I believe I found the closest possible replacement. And that replacement is... How's it going in real life? Peter Griffin here with a message for Troyden. I, uh, I heard that you're making a, uh, a basketball draft in NBA 2K20, but uh, if I had to pick three basketball players, I would probably pick Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Julius Serving. Freaking sweet. <laughs> and our first player today comes... From the Boston Celtics. It is a diamond. It is a reward. Small forward power forward. Larry Bird. Larry legendary out here today. A little bit different. Okay. I'm used to drafting Michael in these situations. But Michael is not the best card in the reverse. In fact, it's Larry Bird. So, hey. Larry legendary out here today. Thank you so much for that. Peter Griffin. Never thought I'd say that. Here we are! Gordon, this is Kermit the Frog here. I am here to pick my top three basketball players. My number one would have to be Kobe. But, uh, he's always in our hearts. Number one, LeBron James. Number two, Michael Jordan. And number three, Shaquille O'Neal. But that there is my pick. And we've got from the Lost. Angeles Lakers, it is an Amethyst, 91 overall shooting god, Kobe Bryant. Thank you so much, Big Ed, for providing me this Kobe Bryant card. I, this is a throwback card, okay? I remember when this card came out, I was so excited. Now it's a little dated, but it could be worse. It, it, it could be worse, it actually could be. Thank you, Kobe. Hello there. Oink, oink. Oh my god, she's nuts. Trodan, where did you get that name? That is so freaking cool. Listen, Troy, Troy Dan, every once in a great while, something absolutely amazing comes along. He just happens to have his chicken in his head. Why? Trodan, because I'm the one dance around my living room with no air con for you. Why? Because we have the big basketball draft coming up for NBA 2K20, and I'm going to name you three players that I love. I'm going to have to go with Shaq, I'm going to have to go with Jordan, and I'm going to have to go with Magic Johnson. Sorry. Okay, you got it. Shaq, okay, LeBron, and, um, and, and Jordan. Okay, so God bless. I hope you guys kick some ass and make some money. If you do, send it my way. I'm just kidding. Listen, Troy Dan, good luck to your league. I hope you guys have a lot of fun, and God bless. And thanks again for being fans of Big Ed and the show. It means the world to me, okay? Be safe. And we've got from the Chicago Bulls. He is, his air is, he is the greatest to ever do it. 91 overall Amethyst, Mikhail Jones. Oh, this really is a throwback. Seeing some of these cards again, not the card I'd want to use, but I figure we're going to get Michael in here. He's very well chosen by celebrities. In fact, everyone chooses Macau. He's a well-known fella. Macau! Hey, Troy, what's going on, my man? This is a strange request, but I do have three of the best basketball players of all time, and I think you got these guys on, on your team you're going to be, <laughs> and nobody out there can beat you. My number one guy, number one guy, I mean, it's easy. That's Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time. And we know why he's the greatest of all time with those <sighs> six championships. 
And if you didn't see the documentary, <laughs> he had that uh, tenacity, that uh, get in your face, that do or die attitude. He was gonna do whatever it took to be the best. And he was gonna fight who, whoever was on the team that wasn't trying to be their best. So he demanded a lot from the guys around him and he led the way by being one of the best guys on the team every chance he got. My number two guy, I'm about to give it to uh, LeBron James, of course. You know, LeBron, he, he didn't have as much hard as Jordan. He didn't have that killer instinct like Jordan had, but he, he, he's a tough guy. He's good. And my number three guy is going to be Kobe Bean Bryant. And we know Kobe also was sort of like Michael Jordan. He had that killer instinct that every time he steps on the court, he wants to tear your heart out, he wants to chop your head off and do whatever it takes to get the basket that he needs to win that game. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James. And you can never go wrong with either one of those guys on your team because they are always going to go out there and give it their all and try to be the best they possibly can. And nine times out of ten, they going to beat you. Yeah, buddy. And we've got from his time in Cleveland. That's right. It is a multi-dimensional Ruby 87 overall. LeBron James didn't really have an option here to take this, but I figured we'd see the LeBron, the Kobe, and the Macau, and we have. We have seen them today, and thank you so much, Ronnie Coleman, for that. Yeah, buddy! Lightweight! Ain't nothing but a peanut! Sorry. Sorry. Hello, Treden. You're asking me a good, good, good question. I think there's uh, three players on my mind that uh, I can uh, say one of them uh, is uh, Yanis. I think Yanis is an unbelievable basketball player, he's an NBA MVP. He's, uh, he's one of the best uh, small four slash two guard slash one guard slash power four. And uh, with his height, I think he can play center because it's just they have a long arm, almost a seven foot. The second player that would come in my mind, I would say LeBron. I think LeBron is still one of the most dominant basketball players right now in the NBA. And the third player to me, I would say that um, Steph Curry, you know, I think uh, Steph is just unbelievable. Um, the way he shoots the ball is one of the peer uh, shooter that I haven't seen since uh, Reggie William, um, Reggie Miller, Ray Allen. Those are the guys that I remember who had the ability to shoot the ball so fast from any corner of the basketball players. And the way he can dribble, run away from the pick and roll and get inside the paint and get a layup, even get a dunk. Uh, that's something that always make him special. Someone really, if he, every time he uses his speech, it's very difficult for the people to stop him when he coming to the basket. Uh, I was just lucky that uh, I didn't get a chance to get dunked by him. Thank you for your question. And we've got from the Milwaukee Bucks, the reigning, defending MVP, 90 overall Amethyst, Yanis. So much to Kempe Matumbo, the cookie monster out here providing a great player. I didn't know he was such a big fan of Stoof Curry, but regardless, this is the best option to use. Thankfully, he's very lanky. Even though the card sucks, height is the most important part in the game. Hey, Troyden. The three names I choose for your basketball draft of NBA 2020 is Michael Jordan, Shaq, and Kobe Bryant. I hope to meet you one day. Stay safe and all the best. Your friend, Chuck Norris. And we've got from the Miami Heat, the greatest center of 
of all time, in my opinion. We've got an 86 overall, Shaquille O'Neal, Chuck Norris. Just stop everything for one sec. Did you see how good Chuck Norris looked? Chuck Norris is 80 years old, and he looks like he's in his third. He looks younger than me. The hell? I, either way, Shaq is a great player. We didn't have a choice here, but I'm still okay. This card, I used to love it. Hopefully, I can find a way to love it again. Hey, yo, what the fuck's going on with it? Troyden? Troyden. Okay, Troyden. What's up with it, bruh? It's your boy. Eat that pussy 445, man. So, you're doing an NBA Fantasy League draft, um, and you want me to name three fucking teams. Random teams. All right, let's see here. We got... We got the Memphis Grizzlies, the San Antonio Spurs, and hmm, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, uh, that, in all the drafts I've ever done, this situation has never really occurred. But the rules state if we don't have a player that we can draft, we have to use the Isaac Bonga of shame. So... We're going to have to use Bonga. Beat your shamed Bongas. Thank you so much, Eat the Pussy. NBA 2K20. Hmm. You want my three picks? Definitely Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, number one. You got to have somebody that can flizzle. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody that can fly around the court. Second pick... Let's go with LeBron James. You want to have some muscle out there. You want to have a big dude out there that can get down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, our third and final pick would be Kevin Durant. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm the Kevin Durant of professional wrestling. Kevin Durant is the OG of basketball. You know what I'm saying? So Kevin Durant, dog. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. Those are your three pick for NBA 2K20. Yeah! <laughs> and we've got from the Brooklyn Nets. It is an Amethyst 90 overall small forward power forward, Kevin Durant. KD out here today. Very confusing. You see him in the Warriors attire, but on the Nets, I guess he's not playing for either team anymore. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't funny at all. Our truth thank you very much. I love the snake. Hey, Jordan, for your NBA 2K20 basketball team, I would pick Michael Jordan, obviously, Scottie Pippen, and Kobe Bryant. Good luck. And we've got from the Chicago Bulls. He's the right-hand man of Cal Jordan. 92 overall, Amethyst, Scottie Pippen. Thank you, Lindsay Lohan, for providing me this card. Another one of those things I never thought I would ever say in my entire life. But I said it, and I'm happy I did. Scotty Pippen, you are definitely not the worst card we could have had. <coughs> Hello, Troyden. I think I just inhaled a small gnat. That's why I coughed. Oh, man. I just did a heck of a video for you and forgot to record it. So here I am. I, this is the hardcore legend, Mick Foley. This is an unusual request. I'm used to doing... Whoa, I just burped up that nap. I'm used to doing uh, birthdays and uh, Father's Day and anniversaries, even pep talks. But in this case, you want me to name three NBA players uh, past uh, uh, or present and tell you why for your NBA 2K20 draft. So I'm going to go with Bob McAdoo. Uh, when he played for the Buffalo Braves back when Buffalo, New York had an NBA team, he led the NBA in both scoring and a field goal percentage. And he was the first, primarily the first outside shooting big man who kind of set the stage for the great shooting big men of the day. Back in my day, they were all close in around the hoop. Uh, and Bob McAdoo changed a lot of that. Second, Walt Clyde Frazier, who uh, made me care about my personal grooming for about a week in the mid-1970s. And let me see, for a third pick, let me see, for a third pick, I'm trying to go outside the box here. Lonnie Shelton was a good big man for the Knicks. When they had some good teams, 
later went on to the Seattle Supersonics, may have won a ring with the Supersonics. Lonnie Shelton was a late 70s big man and a tough dude. So there you go. Bob McAdoo, Walt Clyde Frazier, Lonnie Shelton. Hope that helps, Droiden, and have a nice day. And we've got from the New York Knicks. That's right. Pink Diamond, 97 overall. Walt Frazier, Mick Foley, W for this, okay? This, this is great. For the reverse draft, this is the worst card of Walt Frazier. So it works out great. In fact, I like using this card. And I have a sneaking suspicion this could be, unfortunately, one of the highest cards we have today. I, I hope I'm wrong about that. Thank you so much, Walt. Troy Dan, um, I'm not a big NBA 2K player. Um, and you're saying three basketball players you should draft. Doesn't matter who, what league, or what era they played in. Um, wow. Uh, I mean, I'd have to go with the greats if you could. If you can go any era, I'm obviously NBA. I'd have to go you know, with Mike. Um, Mike is obviously a good pick. Kareem. Uh, Magic. Uh, if not, you know, Braun, of course. Um, but you'd have to go with the greats, man. Top guys that were, if not those guys, the guys that were the most active on the court, like a Dennis Rodman, guys who did the little things, rebound, were the best at their craft. Uh, guys that uh, block shots, whether it was Alonzo Mourning or Matumbo. Um, but I think it's a safe, safe bet to go with the, the, the greater ones, the greats. There aren't much more players. And we've got from the Los Angeles Lakers. In his award, 91 overall Amethyst, Magic Johnson. Yes, this is the worst Magic card in the game. And it's strangely a center. Very strange. I know we played center like once, maybe twice, but you know what? Fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm scared regardless. This team is a nightmare. Troy, what's up, man? Oh, this is going to be easy, man. Always get the three best players. One is you need a point guard, Magic Johnson, greatest in the game. You got to pick him. And then you got to pick the most exciting player ever. Everybody knows who that is. Lonzo Ball. Okay, you got one more player to pick, and guess who it is? Strongest in the game. Get Shaquille O'Neal. And there you go. Your top three, and you can't lose. Holla at your boy. Big ball of brand. I'm out. And we've got from the New Orleans Pelicans. He is the future, the most exciting player ever. Unfortunately, gold point god, Lonzo Ball. I would. If you would have told me that LeVar Ball was going to draft me Lonzo Ball like two weeks ago, I'd have been happier than a pig and shit. But these, this is a little bit different, okay? This unfortunately is not the card I'd want to use in this situation, but that's okay. We're going to be fine. But I'm more surprised. Why didn't LeVar draft LaMelo? Why didn't he draft There's only If he would have drafted LaMelo, this would have been great. We'd have had a Galaxy Opal, but no. No, does he not like his other sons? I'm curious. I know LiAngelo. No one, no one. Lonzo! Troy Dan, what's up, brother? Roman Reigns here. Um, I hear you're doing the uh, basketball draft on NBA 2K20, and you wanted me to suggest three players for you. That's no problem, man. That's easy. Um, I'm going with the big man first, Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq. You already know the centerpiece. We're going to build it around him. Um, and then we're going to have the man handle the ball. That's uh, the answer. Allen Iverson, I think that's going to be simple. He's going he's gonna to make it work. And then, I don't know, this, this might be the most controversial because I don't even know if he was ever in any basketball games because uh, he was just so big. Uh, but, you know, you already know the GOAT, MJ, Michael Jordan. Uh, I, don't, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's been in any games, but he's going to be in this one. And those are my three. Shaq, uh, Allen Iverson, and Michael Jordan, brother. Uh, good luck and uh, have a good time playing, man. Enjoy, your, enjoy yourself. Be easy, brother. Yes, sir. And we've got from the Philadelphia 76ers. He's a rookie, 89 overall shooting guard, point guard, Allen Iverson. The answer out here today. Thank you so much for that. Roman Reigns. 
is so weird. How did my life get to this? Asking these people for plays. I don't care. Listen, this is a great card. I remember when it came out. It was actually one of the best cards in the game when it debuted. Um, things have clearly changed. It sucks now compared to everything else, but I'm screwed. I just realized I'm absolutely screwed here. This is going to be the toughest matchup of my life. And this is the team that reverse celebrities drafted. Point guard, no doubt about it, 100% sure Walt Frazier will be there. Shooting guard, okay. Little bit of mob, a little bit of a throwback. Me like it. Small forward, we gotta have the great freak here. He's too lanky to deny. The diamond Larry Bird is in our power forward position, and the center has to be the Shaftis. That's right, Shaquille O'Neal. We only have one backup center, and it's magic. And this is this is a disgusting team. This is really dog tits. And it is now time to go online to play a random. A little worried about some of these players, but not as worried as you think I might be, okay? I've used some of these cards before, and I'm happy to got Walt Frazier, okay? There's some of these cards so I, I, I would never, in fact, none of these cards I would use today. In fact, not one of them. If you believe you can achieve, quote, Abraham Lincoln. I'm a little worried right now what we're gonna queue up against, because I know how this matchmaking is. I'm a uh, oh, you know, you know what? Th I thought it was gonna be worse. Dwayne Wade, uh, Nicholas Batum, Jeff Green, Bam, and Dino. He's got a superior team. I wanna say we're in trouble. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna do this. We're in the Donkey Dome. We don't have a female ref. Let's win the tip. I win every tip. I'm the greatest tip man ever. That's why, call me Tip Dang. Never gonna happen. We gotta put our settings on. It's sweaty time. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Larry, whoa, Larry, okay, Larry, uh, hop step, hop step, pass it out. Oh boy, okay, Shaq, we need some Shaq. Shaq versus Dino. Okay, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? Crimey, Kobe, catch, Kobe, he caught it, he caught it. You never know with these cards. That's the pass to the wrong person. Walt Frazier, boom, we scored, we're up. Come on, rebound, rebound, we cannot. We are getting murked on rebounds here. That's Thank you. Oh, yeah, still. Go, go, go. Right there. Larry. Larry. Fly like a bird. Fly like a plane. Laying it in. Two. Two. Four. Dude, we are defending him. We are. We are. We are actually doing this. I eight, eight. Nothing. Come on. Get that. We cannot get a rebound. Thank we you. are still though. We are getting steals. No rebounds. We're getting steals. KD. Snaking it in. We're up by 10. No. Don't quit. Don't you dare quit. I, I swear to God. I cannot believe I just made a man quit with this team. I Let's do it again. Game two! <laughs> Who's next? I'm ready for the next person. And it uh, ooh, that's a that's a strange, strange, strange team. Lamello, Iverson, George, Okawaka, and James. See if we can do it again. I did it once, I'll do it again! Let's keep it, I'm doing this! I am doing this. I am in the zone. We are in the Denver, Nugget, sorry, took a second. Nugget Arena, let's win the tip. Come on, never lose tips, I'm a tip G. That doesn't happen usually, it, re it really doesn't. Okay, deep. Uh-oh, hot dog. And just like that, it's four nothing. That, it's fine, it's fine. Someone's gonna, someone's gotta get something here. I, I'm scared to shoot threes with almost everyone on this team, except Kobe and maybe Larry Bird. Larry, I don't even know if he can shoot. Dude, his release, his release is so bad. His, well, I don't know how I get them, but it's a Shaq, Shaq it. Okay, we're on the board. Let's fight out here. Okay, he has a, a large lead here. I, it's really hard to play with these cards, if, if, if it's not obvious. I, I can't even do anything. Every time I move, I instantly lose the ball. Come on. Oh my golly, this is the opposite of what just happened. Scotty Pippen out here, come on, right there. Magic jo Magic Johnson in our center, I keep forgetting. Oh yeah, a positive slam. Got the yoink, oh, almost had the yoink, I felt it. My groin started doing a, a, a kick flip, and I realized it wasn't happening. Magic Johnson, dude, Magic out here defending. This is incredible, nope, never mind. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No way, I'm not gonna get the board though. Oh yes I am, wow, that's a miracle. Come on Magic, all the way. Magic all the way, hop step. Up step! Oh man! Only done by one again! Yo, I read it! I saw you! LeBron said I saw you! Right! Oh, I thought magic was over there! Wait! The, oh, that's Michael Jordan! Sorry, I forgot Macau! I thought Mike Macau! I'm gonna. I ever say! Oh, ho, ho. Green. Green Giants! We have tied it up at the end of the first. Start of the second. I just brought the starters back out. 
hopefully we can do some damage here. I'm, I'm hoping. Right there to Shaq. Shaq. Okay, Bam should not be able to guard Shaq. Though it is a Sapphire. Let's find out. Pora! That's right. Physics over physics. What? D up, D up, D up. D up, D up, D up. This is defense. Defense, baby! That defense makes babies happen. Right there to Walt Frazier. Make a baby for me, Walter. I'll take a baby from you. I'll take a baby from Walter Tavares. Frazier. Shaq. Catch it. Kobe to Shaq. Hop step. Hop step. Not to worry. Right there to Yannis. Right, dude. We are, we are feeling it. We're feeling it like eating hot sauce and your ass hurts. This guy has such better cards, but we're still up. We are up for now. Right there. Right there. Right there. Inside. Come on, Macal Jordan. Believe, boys. Just believe. Oh, Thank got you. the steal already. I saw it coming. Come on, Yannis. Oh, the freak is Greg. Thank what? you. No, let's Come go. Again. We needed that. We need that so bad. You could uh, eat a bag of Glad. What? I don't know what Glad is. What is happening? What the hell? What is, what is going on? I cannot get... I couldn't even move. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. All right. Come on. Shaq. 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 Ho, ho, ho. Go Green Giant. Giant. Oh, come on, Vin Diesel. I'm feeling good now. We got him in a, t you got him in a tough situation. We got him to make his tits go totally. What? How did he green that? I don't know. How, he, how did he green that? Come on. Let's go one more for the button. Right there. Kobe. Oh, my God. I tried to do what he just did. I did. I did. We got an eight point lead. We just need to finish strong here. Oh, dude, let's just finish faking it. Right there, right there. The bird. Oh my oh, god, he oh, greened oh. it! Green he has the worst release I've ever seen, and I just greened it. That, I feel like that might be a GG just on that alone. Five point lead. Come on, get over here, Shaq. Come help me. Come say, say suck, cub, because I just want to show you what I'm about to do! Whoa! Whoa! No, oh, wow, that worked out so good. That could have been really bang, but it's working out good. Come on, I ain't gonna shoot it. We're gonna waste this. Oh shit, we don't got a full timer. Oh, he fouled me. That's. Let's go. Everything worked out. We got the win here. This was hard to play with. You, you bastard! Ba 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 ba. I just made two people rage quit. Just take that in. Two people. I I want to see the stats. I, I hope you go to H-E Double Hockey Stick. Well, there we have it. The reverse cameo team. I got a question for you. Is this team a W, L, or an N? An N means neutral. An N means you don't care. This team is definitely an L. This, if you want a challenge, if you want to make 2K a little more interesting, I highly recommend maybe making this exact team or a team like it and try to win online. It's going to be a lot tougher than you thought. Trust me. Either way, our final celebrity draft of NBA 2K20 in the books with not one, but two dubs. Both rage quits. I'll take them. To the bank and run! Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice. I hope to meet you one day. Stay safe and all the best. Your friend, Chuck Norris.